Kalonord is dead, Lord Malak. He has failed in his mission. Forgive me. The penalty for failure is death, Admiral Carath. But the failure was Kalos, not yours. You may rise. Shall I hire another bounty hunter, Lord Malak? No mere bounty hunter can stand against a Jedi. I shall not make the same mistake again. My apprentice, Darth Bandon, shall take care of our young Jedi friend. As you command, Master. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. How may I be a... What the... Yeah, what do you want? <laughs> stimulants make a warrior out of even the weakest human. Here's a strength-boosting stimulant to help you get stronger. There anything else you need? Your choice. Nessie, is that you? Jordo? It is you, isn't it? I knew it when I laid eyes on you. You old space dog. How have you been? I thought for sure you'd be fighting on some ship out there. I was. I crashed. <laughs> That's pretty rich. I can't imagine what it would take to keep you on the ground. Must have something to do with your pretty friend here, hey? How do you do, miss? Sure am. 
We joined the militia together back on Telos. That was a lot of years ago, of course. So what are you doing here, Jordo? Last time I saw you was on, uh, well, Telos, actually. Yeah, it's a shame about home. Telos still hasn't recovered. The family and I moved on, and I'm working for Zerka now. I didn't see you after... Uh, what I mean is, my condolences on your wife. I heard what happened. At least your boy made it through all right. My boy? Y you mean Dustal? Yes, of course. I saw him at my last stop on Korriban. Though he didn't recognize me. You didn't know he was there? No. Jordo, Dustal has been missing since the attack on Telos. Are you are you absolutely certain it was him? Yeah, I'd recognize Dustal anywhere. Positive. He's um he's joined the Sith, Garth. What do you mean he's joined the Sith? There's an academy for the Sith on Korriban. He's a student there. I saw him suited up in their outfit and everything. Sorry, I thought you knew. No, no, I I didn't. Well, thanks for telling me, Jordo. Sure, no, no problem. Good to see you again, Karth. Hope everything works out with Dustal. Dustal? Dustal is alive. We, we have to go to the Korriban Academy and find him. You think I don't know that? I might just... If there's a chance that we can try and find him, I, I don't want to wait to track him down, if possible. All this time I thought he was... I mean, he must be a man by now. You're back! I knew you'd come through for me! I knew I could count on you! Uh, you do have a tech land for me, right? Sorry, like I said before, I don't have any credits on me. And Greta won't lend me any. It's like he doesn't trust me to pay him back or something. But you come through on this, and I promise you'll get a huge payday down the road. Two... Th no! Three thousand credits! How's that sound? Change your mind. No, you can you bring me a single tech? You're back. Come to Papa, you sweet simian organ. It may not look like much, but once I turn this into a bottle of Torresian ale, it'll end up being worth a fortune. Thanks, Mission. You won't regret helping me out with this. This wasn't my idea, Griff. If it was up to me, I'd let the exchange deal with you. Jesus, that's pretty harsh. Come on, I know things haven't been great between us, but when I corner the market on Theresian Ale, I'll make things up to you. Forget it, Griff. Don't you understand? It's too late. You're dead to me now. I don't want any more to do with you, ever. Okay, that's the way you want it. But when I'm rich, you're gonna regret saying that. You know, once we synthesize this and start brewing Theresian Ale in mass quantities, we're gonna be looking for some investors. You give me a couple of hundred credits, and I can get you in on the ground floor. And you'll get a return of, oh, at least 20 times your investment. Hey, don't worry, you'll get your credits as soon as we start mass producing that Theresian Ale. I just wanted to know if you were interested in an even bigger payoff. You don't know much about business, do you? When an opportunity like this comes along, you have to jump at it. Come on, what do you say? Whoa, no need to get violent, I can take a hint. I was just trying to do you a favor, but I see you're not interested. It's your loss. I better get started brewing that ale. Meet me back here later and I'll give you a down payment on what I owe you.
Yeah, what do you want? Tatooine is one big desert, with rocks sticking out. I heard that some of my people came here after the war, but I don't know what happened to them. The world of my clan, Ordo, was much like this. Dust basins and rock crags. But my world at least has some green around the equator. This place is just sand all over. There are some vicious people on this world, but the desert is the real enemy. Trips out in the desert, especially the deep desert, should be taken very carefully. You have anything else you want to ask? Your choice. Statement. HQ. Affirm request. Statement. As you wish, master. <laughs> what supplement? As statement. Statement. Got something on your mind? You got yourself a fast little ship? <laughs> I forgot what engine sounded like. The closest thing to that on Kashik is an uller in mating season. Ugh, frightful. Or it could be for the free food. What's the gunk that comes out of a synthesizer on this bucket anyway? Do you never clean the darn thing? How impatient can one person be? You must have driven your mother mad. All that gurgling and fussing. <laughs> Babies are cute, but annoying. You know, you remind me of someone else I knew ages ago. Pleasant enough fellow, great destiny, all of that. Breath like a panther. Oh, very funny. Is it my fault that some people are so easily annoyed? Like impatient little children. With blasters. Anyway, uh, where was I? Oh, yes. Andor Vex was his name. The force swirled around him like a hurricane. That's how great his destiny was. I did. Just because someone has the force swirling about them doesn't always mean they have a great destiny. But it doesn't hurt to check it out. Well, it turned out that poor Andor believed a wee bit too much in the infallibility of that destiny. That overconfidence turned out to be his downfall. Does it have to have a point? I thought we were just talking about Andor. Something wrong with your attention span. Let's see. Oh yes, Andor's downfall. I was pretty young myself when it happened. At the time, I thought that Andor's destiny couldn't be more boring. You know, if you keep interrupting, it will take even longer. Have you no patience at all? How did you get as old as you are, anyway? I was just about to abandon Andor to whatever the Force intended for him when his ship was overtaken by a Dimian warship. Now, you've probably never heard of the Dimians, but at the time, they were a nasty lot led by a nastier overlord named Krat. Tall fellow, big teeth. Krat has us hauled onto the bridge of his ship for questioning, and that's when I knew that Andor's destiny was at hand. Of course he did. Haven't you been listening? It was not the way you'd probably expect, though. Well, Andor decides that his destiny makes him invulnerable and starts making all sorts of demands. Free me now. I'm not answering questions. Blah, blah, blah. Don't you know who I am? Krat decides he's had enough and begins crushing Andor's neck. I told the boy he should have kept his mouth shut. I think he agreed, too. This could have just been gurgling noises. No. Well, anyway, finally, Grant has enough of Andor and tosses him aside into this giant energy intake shaft. Andor gets sucked in and starts bouncing around, <laughs> screaming. <laughs> Maybe Andor hit something sensitive on the way down or just didn't agree with the reactor core. Next thing I know, all the ship's alarms are ringing. Everyone panics and I run, barely making it to the ship in time before the explosion. Krat dies horribly, and the Dimians never quite recovered. Changed the political course of the entire sector for centuries to come. I'd call that quite a destiny, wouldn't you? Well, now that's the ingratitude of Euphemia.
I relate an exciting tale, and do I get thanked for it? No, no, it's all me, me, me. Anyway, go on. My throat is dry, and you're making me cranky. Shoot! Got something on your mind, do you? I suppose I could whip up something, uh, you know, a few herbs and such. You do know that the best alternative is not to get hurt, right? Well, not to say that you go leaping into the path of blaster fire or anything, but I know how you young people get. Here, take it. Got something on your mind, do you? Well, unless you're one of the local species and end up being slaughtered or enslaved, Tatooine's a nice enough desert. And that's about all I got to say about that. Now, let's get going. Oh, I get it. Let's play with the old man's head, is it? He's half senile. He'll forget I said anything. Wait, uh, what was this about anyway? How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? What is it you would like to speak to me about? Of course. If there is anything else, I am here to help. How can I help? Then I suggest we move on. What do you need? Talk about what? The only thing I want to do right now is find Dustal. If he's alive, th there's just nothing else I want to think about. I'll understand if we can't look for him right now, but if we could, it would be a huge load off my mind. Excuse me, have you seen a mechanic about? Short fellow, bald, I've been looking. Well, I'll be a Wookiee's uncle. Davin? Davin Coatress? <laughs> Jolie? Jolie Pinto? Why, you old freak. Last time I saw you, you were still wandering the galaxy in that old tug. I thought you were dead, old man. I crashed somewhere and decided to stay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll just bet. Damn, old man, you look exactly the same as the last time I saw you. You pickle well. You're too kind. Not the young lad anymore yourself, I see. What are you, deaf? His name's Davin, old friend from my wanderer days. 
By the by, Devin, I really should be running off. Of course, old man. Oh, w wait. I if you've been traveling in this sector, I suppose you heard about Sunry? No, why? What's there to hear? He's been picked up by the Selkath authorities on Manan. For murder. That's preposterous. I know. Nalora is beside herself, as you can imagine. Maybe you could help them. I'm sure Sunray would appreciate a Jedi's assistance right about now. Perhaps I will at that. It's up to my friend here, actually. I'm just tagging along. I was expecting that. Still, if we get the chance, I'd be grateful. Sunray's an old friend. I'd hate to see him get hurt. Same here. Well, <laughs> it was good to see you again. Give my regards to Alora if you see her. I will. Be safe, old friend. Got something on your mind, do you? No, I never did, did I? Of course you do. I know things, remember? You think you can make it around this part of the galaxy without me? But, but uh, don't answer that. At any rate, I already told you why I wanted to leave. I'd seen everything I wanted to on Kashyyyk. Time to go. Time to move on. You live in an overgrown stump with a tax beating down your door, and you tell me how happy you would be. I was pleased just to have visitors. How many kilometer high trees can you find an interest in before you figure you've had enough? I'd bet you can't be bothered to stay in one room for more than 15 minutes. And then there's all the critters and the shadowlands. I'm just happy to be back in space, doing something new. Is that too much to ask? You got a smart mouth on you there, you know that? If others could talk, they'd sound like that. I'll admit, for all its flaws, Kashyyyk was home enough. But when you came along and I saw the destiny you had before you, I couldn't help but be intrigued. Interest? Well, I certainly don't have a vested interest. Call it more idle curiosity. Your destiny is rather unclear. In fact, everything about you that I can see is odd. Slightly off, as if my eyes are trying to trick me. Something... something is very dark about you, but... Ah, I'm sure you don't need to hear my ruminations. You've probably got enough nosy Jedi offering you one opinion after another to make you sick. Well, I for one am quite content to let you make your own mistakes. Just because I want to see where this ends up doesn't mean I need to tell you how to get there. I wouldn't worry about it too much if I were you. You remind me a bit of Nomi. <laughs> that can be all bad. Nomi Sunrider. She came late to the Force, just as you have, and became one of the greatest Jedi ever. Oh, fine, fine lass. Whether you'll follow the same path remains to be seen. For one thing, you'll never get anywhere if you stand around chatting up old men all day. Oh, stop being such a baby. Are you always so quick to turn aside an ally? Got too many of them, do you? One thing I will say is that this little escapade does remind me a bit of my adventuring days before the war. Ah, those were exciting times. Or at least it would remind me of those times if we didn't stand around. What's keeping you? You're too young to be so talkative. Shoo! Shoo! Huh? 